Hi everyone, in this video you are going to learn how to play a game called Shut the Box. This is a card game version of a pre-existing game that is out there. If you Google Shut the Box, you will find some nice wooden games available to buy online. But this is a version of the game that I kind of made into a card game just so it was a little more accessible and you didn't have to go out and buy anything. Um, there's many different ways to play the game. You can play it as a competitive, uh, like person versus person game, or you can do it as a team game where you're all working towards the same goal. You can do it with just addition. You can do it with multiplication. So it really covers a range of skills. So to play the most basic version of this game, you should be able to comfortably add numbers up to 12. So grade three-ish, I'm sure there's plenty of grade twos who would be comfortable doing this, but as long as you've got a good grasp of making your partners to 10, that's a handy skill. Knowing your doubles, knowing your doubles plus one, doubles plus two, doubles minus one, doubles minus two, all of those addition skills will really help you in this activity. And if you are ready for multiplication or adding bigger numbers, then you can extend this game to make it a little more challenging. Have fun. Hello, welcome to another simple math game. Today I'm going to teach you how to play the game Shut the Box. So to play this game, for every player, you will need the cards one through 10. Um, or if you're going to do the version we're doing today where it's a collaborative game, so there's no winner or loser, you're working together to shut the box, then you'll need all of the cards from ace to 10 and you'll want to separate them into their suits. Okay, so to play this game, you're going to have four sides of your box and each side is going to be the numbers ace through 10 lined up in order. To help me play this game today, my wonderful assistant William is here. He always Hello. likes to make an entrance. Hello. Over here. Hello. Okay, so William and I are going to attempt to shut the box today. Now, if you want to get an extra challenge in there, you can set a timer. We're just we'll do it without a timer today. But when you're doing like the the collaborative team version, uh, it, it's kind of fun to time yourself and then see if you can beat your time. Not that I'm necessarily a pusher of fast math because I'm actually not at all. I think math should take time. But if you feel like that's going to be fun for you, then go ahead and set a timer. So William, I'm going to give you two of the decks and we're just going to set them up like four sides of the box. Hopefully this will all fit in the camera. All right. So our, we're limited a little in space. If you're on a big table, then this won't be a problem. But there's four sides of the box and each side has ace through 10. We want to close the box. We want to shut the box. Shut, shut the, box. the box by flipping cards over. And you get to flip cards over by first rolling the dice, adding the dice up. So that's that's hard to see. Six and three. What six plus three? Six plus three. Nine. Nine. So you're allowed to flip over any combination of cards that add up to nine. It could it can be yes, but since the goal is to flip all the cards over, you want to use the most possible. Okay. Okay, so flip over a total of nine. You go for it. It has to be in one single row? No. We're working together, so we get to use all the rows. All right. So let's just do mm -hmm. who? One. And then a two. Plus two. What are we at now? Three. Okay. Now we're at plus six. Three is six. Six plus four. Is... Oh, over nine. We went too far. <laughs> but we can use uh, Six three plus three. Yep, yeah, flip it over. Good. Okay. Roll the dice. Right, dice. Big numbers. Big numbers. Ooh. <laughs> Smallest numbers possible. It, it, Total of two. Show, show. This is what I rolled. If you cannot see them. One and one is two. Big numbers. So we've got options here. We could flip two ones or we could flip a two. Should we go ahead and flip two ones? Two ones. 
One and one. Just so you can one like okay. not really sure. All right. Roll. Ooh, what did I get? What? <laughs> oh, you got I got six and six, so 12. So do you want to flip over a value of 12? Sure. Wow, this isn't too much, but still. Six and it, it, six. It's, it's basic. Sure. Okay, roll. All right. Big numbers, big numbers. <laughs> Bigger than your last roll. Yeah, I guess. Four and two, six. All right. Um, I'm going to go. What? Why don't we just flip four? I'm going to, I want to use more cards, though. We could just flip four and two. You want to do that? Sure. Two and a four. Well, this right. video can be fast forward as much yeah. as we need it to be. So strong. we're going to speed this up, but we just continue to roll and play until we shut the box. Right. And uh, if we were timing, then we would kind of have like a baseline to see if we could beat it the next time. Mm -hmm. This sure. can also be played competitively. Let's just take a minute and explain how we can do this competitively. Right. If you yeah. want to play this, uh, you, you can do up to four players. Each player would own aside and when it's their turn to roll they would do the same thing total up the dice so five and they're only allowed to flip from their row so in this case if this were just my row i could flip the five okay it, it might get down to a point where i roll something that i that i do not have and in that case my turn is just to pass and you just go around and the first person to shut their side of the box would be the winner. So that's a way you can play it as a multiplayer competitive game. If you only have three players, that's fine. Make your box in the shape of a triangle. It'll just have three sides. Every player has the cards one through 10 and you, you just play on your own side and you try to be the first person to flip over all of your cards. But it's always nice to have a collaborative game every once in a while. So this is a nice game that can be played either way. So we're going to speed things up and play this game. All right, go. Here's another variation you could do. Uh, if you have somebody playing with you who wants to practice their multiplication, you could make this a multiplying game. So when you roll, instead of adding them, you could multiply them. Now that was, I'm gonna redo that roll. Let's make sure there's that one in there. Okay, five times six. Do you know what five times six is? Honestly, I might. <laughs> How can we find it? Uh, I usually, I would just take the, if there is an even number, I would start with that. So. Six groups of five is what I would do. Okay, so let's count by five, six times. Hey, hey, I already know, 30. 30, nice. Okay, so 30 is the goal here. So you could try to find two other numbers that multiply to give you 30 or a combination of numbers that add up to 30. Okay, so you're just adding some twists in there to make it a little more challenging depending on uh, the level of the players that you're playing with. But then you might want face cards to get go higher. Yeah, that's true. What a good idea. You could add face cards in there, make jacks be 11, queens be 12, and kings be 13. So then you've got some bigger numbers to play with. And you can do two decks. Two decks with face cards. Now we're getting crazy. Okay, so can we, do you want to, oh, let's see if we can add up to 30. So we, we multiplied these to find 30, but now we're going to add to make 30. That's pretty easy if okay. you just do a 10, 10. All right, it's do basic. It. I, I, I try to want to do something else. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, do we have any twos? No. We have three. Okay, so I'm going to go seven. Seven and three, I like it. Three. That makes 10. And 10. That makes 20. And another 10. And that makes 30. Nice. Let's multiply again. Three times five. It'd be fast, we're fast forward at this part, right? Nope, we're, we're, we're doing a couple rounds of multiplying. What's three times five? Three times five. One seagull. They're both odd numbers. We can still do th groups of five, right? Three groups oh, of five. My brain hurts. Let's count by five three times. Five. Five. Oh, 15. 15. So let's add to 15 with the cards. Okay. Uh, 
You don't have any more for me. You have a five, so mm -hmm. I'm going to use this. Five and ten, perfect. All right, we'll fast forward again, but we're going to keep going with the multiply add combo. Feel free to get creative here. Why not use all four operations if you're ready for it? Multiply the two dice and then use any combination of operations to make that product out of the cards on your table. You could even practice adding integers. Let the red cards have negative values and the black cards have positive values. You are only limited by your imagination. We were close. All right, give me five. Uh, we could not shut the box. But we were close. We were close. Very close. All right. And remember, this is the math question of the day. Six times six is 36. Okay. Give it, this game a try and let me know what you think. Make sure to subscribe and leave a like. Thanks, Will. You're welcome.